Hi loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple of items that I picked up over the last few weeks. If you want to see what I purchased, stay tuned. Okay guys, so I am going to share with you a few of the items that I've picked up over the last several weeks. I've been out of town, I've been doing a little bit of shopping. I'm not gonna show you everything, but I am gonna show you a couple of things that I consider to be my favorite pieces that I'm really, really pleased about. So let's get started. Um, let's jump right in with jewelry. I got a, piece, a few pieces of jewelry. All right, so the first items I wanna show you are these earrings that I picked up from Souk and Sepia. And these are the Haima hoops that I picked up from Souk and Sepia, and I got them in the colors gold and silver. So these are the silver ones. These are so light. I mean, like paperweight light. They are super, super light, and they are really, really cute and unusual. I love these earrings, I, you know, I always like a good hoop. I always tell you that. I really love these earrings. They're big, they're unusual. I like the opening here and they have a post in the back. So these are really, really cute. They weren't very expensive. Shipping was okay. You know, I've had a lot of um, kind of mixed uh, reviews about Souk and Sepia products, but these are, are really nice. I, I don't have uh, any complaints, and I haven't seen these anywhere else. I, they may be someplace else, but I haven't seen them. But And I love them. So um, I saw Monroe still had these on, and they look so cute on her. I love just about everything she wears. So I had to rush out and pick me up a pair of the Soup and Sepia Haima hoops. Next item that I got is this beautiful bracelet from uh, Saks Off Fit. And this is the Lux Rose Gold Tone Titanium and Crystal Cuff Bracelet by the company Eye Candy. It is beautiful. I love a good rose gold moment. And the jewels, the, um, I guess that's cubic zirconia. I don't know what it is, but it is pretty and it's just the right amount of bling. Not too much, not too little. Love that. And the last thing I got is <laughs> these nose rings. These are the J For You fake nose rings and I got them from Amazon. And they're also in that beautiful rose gold color. There are six different pairs that are really, really cute. You know, I um, see these girls with the with their nose piercings and I really think they're gorgeous. Some of them are really, really super gorgeous. I didn't know if I really wanted to get my nose pierced. I still don't think I do, but this is a good way to, you know, if I want to feel a little bit extra, I can uh, pop on this fake nose ring and guess what else? I was wondering how it would look if I put it at the top of my ear. And you know what? It looks cute there too. So I'll have a couple that I'll only wear on my ear and then a couple that I'll only wear in my nose and I can be on a trend in fashion, so to speak, if I wanted to. So that is all of the jewelry that I picked up. Let's move on to uh, some clothing and shoes. Next two items um, came from Nordstrom Rack and they are both by Topshop. And the first one is the Topshop Carly Coat. And this is a beautiful, beautiful um, winter coat. You know, fall is on the way. I love fall. I love all the fashions. And so this coat is going to be perfect. So this is a soft and slouchy coat for a chilly day. It's styled with oversized pockets for a functional charm. It has one front button closure, notched lapels. The sleeves are long, a little overly long for me because this is an oversized jacket. Um, and the very best part is that this jacket or this coat is machine washable. 
Ah, that is perfect for me, honey. I love something that is machine washable. I love the way this coat fits. It is oversized. I, I got it in my regular size, but I probably could have sized down. So depending on if you like it or not, and you wanna purchase it, you may consider sizing down a size, um, depending on if you want it to be super oversized or if you want it to be a little less oversized. Uh, I'll link the jacket in the description box if it's still available. But again, I got it from Nordstrom Rack and this is the Top Shop Carly Hoat. The last thing I purchased was a boot. And you know, you have to have a good boot for the winter. And so I was feeling kind of Western-like and I uh, saw these boots on the Top Shop website. And this is the Honduras Western Boot by Topshop. It is um, a squared off uh, toe uh, boot. It has a patent leather upper. The heel is three and a fourth inches high. And it has a pull on style. Um, it has a pull, it's a pull on boot. <laughs> And this heel, oh my gosh, I love this. Uh, a squared off toe accentuates the Western attitude and outfit making block heel of this boot. I love this boot. It has, uh, it is patent leather and it has goring at the top so that you can slip on the boot. Now they said on the website that it was an easy slip on boot. I had a little difficulty getting this boot on. So think about that if you're considering purchasing it. It's a gorgeous boot. I love it. I love the style. I love the square toe. I love the block heel. I love everything about it except the fact that you have to slip it on. It would have been so much easier if there was a zipper right here, you know, to put the boot on. Um, it's a little bit of a struggle. I got it on, but it is a little bit of a struggle. So uh, think about that. Cute boot, I will be keeping these, however, because I do like them and they don't uh, hurt my feet. I've walked in them, so yeah, I'm gonna keep these. I love that black heel. All right, guys, this is the uh, Honduras Western Boot by Topshop. The last item that I picked up is something that I had been wanting for a while. I've seen it on um, Instagram, YouTube, lots of different places, and I was kind of, um, wanting to try something new um so as you know i love coffee i drink a cup of coffee probably every day i do only drink one cup of coffee a day but i do love good coffee and so i have um a regular percolator coffee maker the mr coffee and i also had a keurig the keurig i just didn't like the way the coffee tastes with the keurig it tasted watered down and that's just my opinion. If you have a Keurig, it's okay. And you love it, it's okay. Because I loved mine. But um, it just, when I per made my coffee in the percolator, it just wasn't, you know, Keurig just didn't stand up <laughs> to that coffee. And then with the coffee maker, I had to make more than I drank in a day. And so I ended up pouring out coffee every day uh, that um, was just went unused. So that was wasteful. So I went ahead and I picked up the Nespresso Virtual Plus Coffee Maker and Espresso Machine. I picked this up from William Sonoma and it has been amazing since I've purchased it. I have no complaints so far. I've been using it now for about two weeks. The coffee is amazing it is delicious it is rich it is robust it is what coffee is supposed to taste like uh, I'm not that big of a fan of, of espresso but I will drink a cup of espresso every now and again uh, I've had espresso before uh, when I was in Paris a few years ago the espresso there was it kind of opened me up more to drinking it um, a little bit more regularly than I normally would. So every now and again, I will do espresso. And I'm gonna do a voiceover here, but that's that. 
Okay, so I am unboxing my new Nespresso, and in the box there is the water tank, the actual machine itself, all of the pamphlets and things, and uh, a sample pack of the different coffees that I could have. So the first thing you wanna do is um, clean the water tank and cycle through the cleaning process, just like you would do on your Keurig. So my coffee machine came with a nice sample pack of coffees. Um, my sample pack included 11 capsules of roasted and ground coffee and espressos and uh, one capsule of decaffeinated roasting ground coffee. My machine makes uh, five different sizes of coffees and the way that it does this is that there is a computerized uh, mechanism inside that reads the barcode on the outside of the capsule and that's how it determines which size coffee to make and so the five sizes are the espresso which is 1.35 ounces a double espresso which is 2.7 ounces a grand longo which is 5.7 ounces ounces uh, coffee, which is 7.77 ounces, and an alto, which is the largest that the machine will make, which is a total of 14 ounces. And I had samples from each of those sizes. My favorite coffees, or my favorite drinks um, were the uh, Melozio and the Odaccio, and those are all, those are both coffees. And inside of this pack, there are little numbers inside, and I know you probably can't see it, but that tells you the intensity of the coffee. The intensities range from uh, about a two all the way up to an 11, and my favorites had an intensity of six or seven. So after cycling through the cleaning process, I decided to go ahead and brew my first cup of coffee. I was very impressed um, and quite pleased to find out that it didn't take very long for the water to heat up and for the coffee to begin to brew. I love the fact that the coffee has a beautiful foam on top and the aroma, oh my goodness. It's so nice. It smells like you're in a coffee shop, actually. So I am totally pleased. And the taste of the coffee, absolutely delicious. Along with my new coffee machine, I also purchased the Prepara Virtuoso Coffee Capsule Carousel to um, display my coffee capsules and to also um, store them. Um, and I thought this was really cute. It looked cute on my counter. So when I ordered my coffee from Nespresso.com, um, I received lots of um, free goodies, um, like these coasters here. I also got a sleeve of iced Leggero uh, double espresso and um, some beautiful glass cups. One thing that I am really impressed about um, regarding Nespresso coffees is in the way that they source their coffees. Their coffees are sourced from small independent farmers who work together with them to sustainably increase the yield of the highest quality coffee beans in places where coffee cultivation is endangered. Places like South Sudan, countries that really need to have the coffee um, uh, business thriving because that is a great source of income for them. So I really, really like that about um, Nespresso. Another really uh, neat thing about uh, Nespresso is in my gift pack, um, I received this recycling bag. All of the Nespresso coffee capsules are made of aluminum and they are 100% recyclable. So um, what you do is you just collect them. Um, they collect in the back of the um, 
the machine. You take, you can easily take the reservoir off, pour the used capsules into the bag, and this bag has a um, prepaid label already on it. Put the capsules in there, ship them off, and they can be recycled. Yet another way of uh, sustaining and protecting the environment. So Nespresso gets kudos all the way around. They are really, really changing the game for coffee. And on top of that, the coffee is delicious. And I like to add a little of my uh, Calafia almond milk creamer to the coffee. You can um, uh, pour it into the coffee as is or froth it and add it to the top. guys I hope you enjoyed um, looking at the items that I purchased over the last couple of weeks comment down below and let me know what you think if you have an espresso do you like it do you love it if you've purchased any of the items that I have tell me about it how do you feel about them you guys thank you so very much for watching my video um, before you go please make sure that you like the video leave me a comment, share this video with your family and friends. And if you are a subscriber already, mwah, thank you so very much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe before you go. I'd appreciate it if you did. Thank you all so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.